I just want to say as you drive through the Rocky Mountains, I think this is very inspirational to be here to start talking about the dialogue about 21st century learning and what it looks like and what it should be in the future. I think that the that education is absolutely front and centre of the agenda that we face now in the economy, in the development of our communities. So yes, I think the more people we bring around the table, the deeper the understanding is, the more uh, nuanced the conversation, the better for everybody. Not one, not one of you has ever written a letter to say you just wanted to keep the system running. Each and every one of you said, I want to make a difference for children. And I've got great news for you. You can, and you should. Education really uh, fundamentally needs to focus on where it's going to take us in the future. Um, the conversations today were about that future. We have to all make a conscious decision to, to get involved and take responsibility and make a decision to make a difference and action. You know, action is really the key to this. Any time that you can involve a multitude of different types of people with different perspectives, different job responsibilities and backgrounds, I think the conversation is richer. If you want to do something great and if you want to make change, it's not going to be easy or else everyone would do it. So I think for people that are trying to push the boundaries, it's, it's about perseverance and patience. The greatness that we have in an organization is not coming, going to come from an idea or from a system, it's going to come from people. If you wanted to look at, at the best process, then we have to understand how, how change happens in education. It happens by people thinking differently and then acting differently. Getting the system to evolve is about propagating the principles and cross-pollinating. Events like this are important. How do we transform education so it's relevant, not for what we would have liked to have when we were in school, but for what our kids need? So we should be asking the question, well, what, what's the 10-year-old of today doing and how do we adapt to that? Uh, so this kind of a, of a forum where people can get together, where they can talk and share ideas and get confronted, that's what we need. We need to challenge and get angry and work through that so that we can say, wait a minute, wait a minute, there is another way to look at these things. A conference like this one is not just about exchanging interesting experiences and getting to know each other, it's also very much about developing new agendas that might literally influence the way we think about education in our different countries. These types of events are incredibly valuable because it, you do need to have everybody at the table, whether you're in a school or whether you're in a country. What we need to do to drive the system into the 21st century and be really innovative has got to be a discussion with parents and the public at large to make sure that the principles of a, of a new innovative learning system will be accepted. I think just that whole idea that um, Change is possible, but it requires thought. It requires us working together and innovating and being creative. That's one of the major messages that I heard here. And taking risks, right? Um, being not afraid to try something new. I do believe we have come to a time when we have to start saying, enough of being impressed. We need to be convinced. Because when we're convinced, we can move forward. All the challenges we face now, technologically, culturally, economically, um, come back to how, we, how well we educate ourselves and our children. And we simply can't, on, in any sense of the term, afford to educate people for the 19th century. It has to be for the 21st century. All revolutions happen from the bottom up, by people deciding they can do something differently, that they should do something differently, that there are benefits in doing things differently. And if enough people do it, that's how the change happens.